in with silence in this breast of free semi-finals so this will be Three, two, quite interesting one. Here we go, We're on Agent to begin with, he does get the yellow, and Cypher has no weapon, so this is pretty good for Agent. He's going to try to follow Cypher, and he does apply pressure, even stealing away both greens. Now, how much does this really matter? You can see Agent actually putting a lot of pressure on Cypher, leaving the red up for a long time. And this is a really good move from Agent, because he knows that- Oh no, the, the rails are sick from Cypher though. He managed to hit two incredible angles and taking down Agent before he picks up the red. The play Agent made was so good though. It was really, really good from Agent. Just didn't work out against the aim of Cypher in that one occasion. You can see Agent really, he was trying to play, he, he was trying to cut a few corners and keep the pressure up. And to be honest, that I would say is like the optimal play that he made against Cypher. And look at this great play coming in from Agent again with the Rockets, pushing Cypher off, but Cypher's rails are just undeniable you cannot do a single thing when he just hits every every shot he was so low as well it's so just a little bit more damage and he would have fallen but Adrian unable to get a chance let's see if he's able to do something now I mean he drops in for the mega Cypher has a very good engagement doesn't really take much in return and in comes the LG again Agent can't do much in this position, and Cypher goes for the rocket jump to get you know, onto that red just that little bit faster, and also to kind of cut off angles if Agent wants to double back. And here he goes, great rocket from Agent. That, that makes that entire difference there. Could be a frag, no. Gets the 50, goes in the, the quick double back on the rail, but doesn't get the shot, and oh, so, so, so gutting for Agent right there, who had Cypher. He had him, and here he goes, does hit one rail out of the telly, but... That's all he's going to get for now. Looks like Cypher is going to be able to take him down with not much trouble there. Relative ease as we're looking at a 5-0 to zero at the moment. And it's a 5-0 to zero where Agent's actually been playing really well. It's just, it's just these last bits of damage. Cypher just hits so much, like so much rail just in the last moments. And it's quite hard to compete with that. But here we go. Agent is going to find himself in a little bit of trouble as well. It takes quite a bit of damage. And Cypher can actually leave that red up for quite a long time if he plays it right with the spawns. But unfortunately, he was a bit too far over towards the Mega. Kind of got that spawn forced onto the red for Agent. Agent picks it up. But you can see Cypher's just trying to deal damage. He doesn't really mind that Agent picks up items here. As long as he's getting a few items himself, he's confident he hits the damage, and that's what he's doing so far. Nice little move across. Very smooth from Cypher. Not much to be done here over at this red armor. Cypher is getting fairly low, but there he does have enough to bring in the frag and take away the red armor. And following it up with the pickup of the mega, Agent is just left without options once again. And it, it really just is the fact that Cypher's damage output is just so good. And look at that, just straight away, straight away, he goes down and that is gonna be the forfeit. Agent realizes he's like, okay, okay, I, I see what's happening here. I don't like my chances. Why bother continuing this, this, uh, this, Silence game where I clearly uh, I can't come back. That's kind of the thinking that Agent has right there. So going to move on to Cure, which is actually the map choice of Cypher. So I don't know whether Agent... I mean, we know that he's a very good Silence player and he's had some great results there in uh, the recent past. But perhaps he was picking it as well because maybe he presumed that maybe... Maybe, you know, Cypher's not so experienced on it. I mean, it, it is a map that, you know, players haven't played that much compared to most other maps. So it could be a bit of a wild card there for Agent, but it doesn't work out. He has to actually play Sinister. There you go, uh, Sinister. And uh, it's gonna be tough, gonna be really tough. Let's see if Agent's able to bring his, his game back in on Sinister Three, and take this two, map so he can force one. it to a tiebreaker. Fight. Here we go, Agent beginning. His beginning is a humble with the Mega. Great first rocket onto Cypher, and that third one was absolutely beautiful there as he manages to really wear away the stack of Cypher. The problem for Agent lies in the fact that he has no OG, he can't be in the open. 
and Cypher abused that, and now Cypher has the rail. So that amazing play at the start, that risk, that play off of just hearing the sound cues and the intuition coming in strong for Agent, it might just all fall flat on its face at this point as Cypher hits this rail, missed the rail, and he hit the second one, but that's okay. Now Agent finally does get himself the LG. That will help a lot, but Cypher delayed him enough that he was able to take away the Mega Health. And this really puts Cypher in the lead, especially after this very good damage done. And he goes for the rocket finish, and he does manage to get that. Grabs the first frag, and with one minute in, Agent is not looking too strong. Cypher is replenishing the LG there. And the Agent kind of exposing himself to get, to get across to the next yellow. And Cypher hears the jump pad. He knows where Agent is. And Agent just hanging around, gets himself on that Mega first. Doesn't have that time of the yellow, but that's okay. He's going to get the next yellow. He's going to get most likely this red. I mean, Agent can't do much here. Great little rail there. Not much to do against that. Two to zero. Agent's struggling here. Cypher's just hit, hitting too much damage. Both on the first map and so far on the second. Here we go. Cypher just waiting in position. He doesn't have anywhere to be, very quickly at least. And there you go, gonna find Agent going through the teleporter. Grabs that yellow armor. But that's not gonna save him against the sheer might that Cypher's bringing to the table. You can just baiting this red a little bit. He's got so much time to the Mega that he can really afford to do this. Ego does spot Agent in the distance. Doesn't get the connection though. Cypher, he just has to keep playing ABC. I mean, if if at any point he sees Agent, he's likely, as he's Cypher, he's going to hit the shot. And when he hits the shot, if he keeps taking most of the items, then that's a very simple way to win. I mean, it's, it depends on how Cypher feels, though. He can get a bit more aggressive to make the game a bit more interesting for himself, or if he's feeling that his, his uh, best chances to win are actually to go with his aggressive intuitions, then that is also... A very good way to win and you know cypher is a player very awareness based he's very very kind of gut oriented like he's going to go on his gut instinct and his instincts are pretty damn uh, solid so you can hear the footsteps of agent right there but he can't really easily approach the angle so i'm going to back away to the mega instead and again just take things slow no need to be fancy and he knows it there you go, you're gonna go for the drop there. Agent plays it well. So Agent is bringing himself back into the game here. And uh, you can see his pop here. He's managed to build up 135 points of armor. And he cannot take damage. He's got to keep going for these yellows. And once he's got around 150, he can really start thinking if he has the mega time about making a play on the Mega. There he's going to go for it right now, right here. And he does manage to seal it away and get himself out of there onto the red armor. Brilliant play from Agent there. Just really showing how smart he is, how amazing his timing is, and his sense for the items. It's just next level. And even against Cypher, you know, catching him off guard. So the next step for Agent is to make some frags to get the damage in. Now this is where it gets really tricky for Agent. Playing against Cypher, who is out of control is going to be a lot harder than playing against Cypher who's in control for Agent. Because Cypher is going to be constantly doing the kind of plus back damage and the efficient fights. And we know that Agent often is going to lose out there. Not a lot of damage from Agent right there. And he took a lot from Cypher. And Cypher, though, he's got to count the stack well and realize exactly what he's capable of. He goes for this attack, and oh, he, just before he's about to pull the trigger on the rail, Cypher does electrocute him, and that's going to be another red going towards Cypher. And Agent's control, very short-lived. But to be honest, Agent really showing everyone how it's done to get back in control. That was just picture perfect. And another frag for Cypher. It's just down to that execution. Agent has to be able to hit those shots. It's a good rail there from Agent. Can he get anything else to get a nice second one that stops Cypher's harassment, at least for a moment? And both yellows spawning relatively soon. Cypher without any armor. This could be an opportunity now for Agent to do something. So here is Cypher just playing out of control, building himself up. 
Mega's coming up soon. Is Agent going to go for this? Agent doesn't have to. He can just settle. But he actually turns up a bit late, uncharacteristically speaking. But in his defense, he did go for the red armor first. So he didn't lose out on anything, really. So Cypher just trying to very much limit the damage that he takes whilst maximizing what he puts out. And you can see that already taking effect there with a very good rail. And he really exposed himself very, very little to, to gain that shot. And again, the same principle applies there. So both players, the gentleman's agreement at the moment, kind of just splitting, splitting the map in half. And here goes Agent, actually. He wants this Mega. He does get it. He goes for the rocket jump. Good defense so far from Cypher, using the rocket so well. Waiting for the drop. That's exactly what he wants. And perfect LG. The damage is huge. And Agent, at least he managed to hit something back. That's so hard to deal with that output from Cypher. Another rail connected. And Cypher, his aim is just so good. Agent receiving another ridiculous rail there from Cypher as he goes for the drop. And really now, I mean, it's just a case of keeping up what, what he's doing. I mean, there is no way that Agent can go directly for this Mega, as is proven there. And that means that Cypher's going to start running the Mega Red again. And Agent kind of lost out on the window of opportunity he had to take down Cypher through no fault of his own, just because, I mean, Cypher's execution was incredibly strong and another great rail there and he could just take this into a frag he's gonna go straight for it charging down agent with the rockets there it is taking a bit of damage for his troubles but really it's fine you can see that both uh, mega and red are pretty soon and cypher stack is still dominant he can still take this down good good damage from agent but it's not enough it is not enough at least though off the spawn he's able to get an item and there you go actually for the first time i think Giving Cypher Rail, not receiving one. Let's get ourselves onto Agent. I mean, Agent's the guy who really needs to bring this back right now. He's got two and a half minutes to do it. And he is starting to build together a stack. He's got himself the timing on the red and the mega. Oh, but you can't just jump in straight like that. Straight into the LG, making it easy for Cypher. If it wasn't easy enough giving him a very strong engagement. And Agent blew all of his stack on the Mega attack and lost out completely on the Mega. So now it's back to square one for Agent. So Agent's trying his best now. And of course, this is match point for Cypher in this semi-final. And boom, Agent's, he's like, all right, I've had enough. I know I can't win right now. And they call the GG's and there you go, seven to zero on Sinister. It's gonna be a very easy 2-0 sweep. And that is the problem in this matchup is that despite we can see we can see the intelligence from Agent. He is a very smart player. He made some really, really great plays out of control and in control. But the problem is just comes down to the way that Cypher's aim is so good. And it's not just that. It's how Cypher uses it. He uses it very, very smartly in, in a very efficient manner. You can see him trying to engineer all these situations where even though his opponent has like twice the stack, Cypher evens it out by doing twice the amount of damage, but just finding those great spots. But, I mean, that means that Cypher, as many would have expected, is going to be landing himself a position in today's grand final. So the next match coming up is going to be Evil versus Pavel for the second semi-final to decide who will play against Cypher in that grand final. So stay tuned to find out what is going to happen next.